Okay, we're CPAs. Let's talk money. I don't, it all depends. Now again, okay. Now we now we now we've we've made a quick we had a quick look or a, or a quick assessment as this KDE blasts at me um, as to what the situation is as far as what is available as far as apps that you absolutely need that are not available in in Linux to be able to do your job. And if you have a trial balance package and you have an, a tax package, you'll be okay. But also you're going to need um, an audit program package. And I will say that, uh, in fact, I'll install one for you right now. If this crossover isn't irrevo irrevocably broken, um, it isn't. It's not. I have all of our CDs, or almost all of them, that are from applications we used in the past that we don't use anymore. Uh, I've thrown out the CDs and I've just stored them on our two terabyte Drobo. Uh, one, because I don't no longer have to shuffle through a bunch of CDs anymore. Two, I get a better idea of what I actually have. And three, I can experiment around later on. Okay. I'm going to install another app. Okay, in fact, I'll show you how this stuff works. I should just eject this, but it's not going to stop me from doing what I need to do. Um, I'm going to choose the installer file, and I'm going to go to my mount point, which by the time you've done watching this, you'll know what a mount point is and how it works. I am in HomeJack. I'm going to Morton Associates. I'm going to, you know, I don't want to go to Dell, because Dell is where our regular stuff is. And then here is our out-of-date programs on... CD, and then I'll go here to PPC, and these are all the releases that I've archived. Um, I don't know, I'll try the latest one. Let's see, 07, I'll use that to set that up. And I would rather call this PPC, just to show you you can have one. They, I don't know, I think they still sell these. We, we've gotten off of them, we've gone on those. I can't, I, I don't like those smart practice aids as much. Although I think these CDs, I'm not quite sure that these CDs will provide, uh, will do the thinking for you, <laughs> and um, d you know the new standards you have to um, do, uh, you have to study their controls and based on your understanding of the controls, modify your audit program as to what you're going to go out and steps you're going to take during your audit. Um, I'm going to pick one of Windows 2000 bottle because I know that works. Okay, these CDs is basically this is a CD form that you can put your initials and sign off date of what comes in the binders from PPC. And PPC is almost universally stand. Uh, I'd say about 75% of the accounting industry uses PPC. The other 25 maybe they might use something by Thompson. Or no, Thompson owns PPC. Something else. Anyway, that's that's academic. Okay, so let's just install this sucker. Okay, and last time I did it, which wasn't that long ago, I had come to rely on the fact this would install, and I was pretty happy with it, and it would run the way I wanted it to. And there was actually a, a, a permissions problem in Windows 2000 where you couldn't do something and um, but it actually ran better in Linux under Wine on, than, um, and you have to have a code in here too. I don't have that documentation. Oh no, it's okay. I think it comes later. It's been a while since I set these up. The last time we had this was in 2007. There it goes. It'll it'll work. You can run. You can do your um. You have you have your audit programs. You have your steps you need to do for compilations, reviews, and audits. Um. Th this will work just fine. This product here. So you have all three basic things you need. You have your uh, word processor, you have your spreadsheet, and you're ready to go. You can, you could, there, there's the password that, that we're going to need. Um, should I, 
Okay, let me stop here. I'll enter it and then I'll just show you.